Open your book to page 274. So first, uh, let's go over the basic definitions of polynomials. So today's lesson is how to work with polynomials. So a polynomial is when every term has a form of a x to the b, okay? So a and b are, uh, b is an integer, a positive integer, and a can be just any number. Okay, so this is the form, okay? And so every term has to be in this format. Then after that, you have several different, ter uh, different terms, right? So you have monomial, So monomial means one term. Okay, so you can mono means one, right? So, okay, and then you go binomial. So bi is two, right? That's why you get bicycle, right? Bicycle means two wheels, right? Okay, then next one would be trinomial. Okay, so trinomial would be three terms. So you need to know what those terms mean, right? And this we get like tricycle, right? Tri triangle, right? Tri means three. And anything after, when, when you have four or more, you just call it polynomial. So, so polynomial, so when you have four or more, you just call it polynomial. So let's go over some example of, of what is polynomial and what is not. Okay. So example one, A, you have negative two X. So this is an example of that format. See, you got a number and you got variable and exponent. That's no number means it's one. So this fits that format. So this is good. So this is an example of a monomial, right? One term. So this is a monomial. Then you go to B. You have seven y plus three y three. Okay, so this one fits that format, right? This one fits that format. See a number variable, and you have the exponent that is a positive integer, so you're good. Okay. Well, actually, it should be an integer, uh, non-negative integer. It's something you can have a zero uh, exponent, which will give you a number, which is still okay. So again, so this is an example of Binomial, right? This is a binomial because it's two terms, right? Okay, and you go to C. This is eight. Now this is fits this also, right? Because this one, the A is is eight. Now you have x to the zero power. That's why you don't see the variable. So this is still a monomial because this one still fit this pattern. You don't see it, but this is actually x to the zero power, and zero power is one, right? That's why you don't see it. So you got to kind of recognize that. Okay, so that's why you don't see it. Okay, so again, this is so when you see a number that is a monomial. Yeah, and if you go to D, you got z to the seven minus two z to the two plus three. So again, this is yes, right? This all this fit that format, right? Again, the format is a x to the a uh, uh, positive uh, uh, a number. In a book, you use n, but it doesn't matter what variable use. It just basically means it is to an exponent that's an integer. Okay, non-negative integer. So again, this fits that format, right? See that? They're the same format. So this is an example of trinomial. Okay? Okay, and you go to E. You got x to the 3 plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. So again, every one of these fit this format. Okay? So this is a polynomial. Now you go to F. 1 over x to the negative 5 power. At first, it looks like no, right? This one doesn't look like that, right? But if you get rid, if you simplify, if you get rid of the negative exponent, this becomes x to the 5 power, right? Remember, negative exponent, you flip it over. So this, so this will equal to x to the 5 power. So now it fits that. So this is a monomial. Okay. Now let's go to example 2. What... Let's go over what would be uh, not a polynomial. Page 275, example 2. So you got 
three x to the negative five power. Remember, every exponent, every, every term has to be a x to the the n, right? N is an integer, right? So you can be flexible with your with your variable. You can use a, b, c. You can use whatever, right? M, n, right? So, okay. So again, notice this one does not fit that. Remember, n cannot be a negative, so this has negative, so it doesn't fit that. So if you try to flip it over, it doesn't help either, because if you flip it over, it becomes like that. Does it make, match that? No, right? So this is not a polynomial. Okay. Now let's go to the next example of what is not a polynomial. You got one over x plus two. Again, this one does not match that form. Okay. So every term had to be this form to be a polynomial. So this one does not match it. So this is not a polynomial. Okay, next one, you got square root of 3 plus x. So you can look at the variable. Doesn't match that. Doesn't look like that. So this is not a polynomial. Okay. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to figure out the degree. Okay, so let's go to example 4. So Degree basically means the exponent of the so so degree is like a, you is, is an exponent. So a you got five x to a three, so this is the third degree. Okay, I'm just gonna write three and circle that. Okay, so this is a third degree because the exponent is three. Okay? If you go to b, you got six x squared y, this is also third degree because you get two from the x, one from the y. This is one power. So total of three power. So again, this is a third degree. Okay, C. You got 14. Well, you don't see any variable at all. So this is zero degree, right? So it's zero. Okay, so this is a zero degree. So you go to D. You got two to the five, x to the three. Now, this, the number doesn't count, okay? So this is a zero. So you're going to get three. This, so this would be third degree. Right? So just look at a variable. So again, degree, you look at a variable and, and look at the variable and look at the, the, the exponent. So degree is the, the exponent for the, de, uh, for the variable. Okay? So this one has no variable, that's why it's zero degree. Okay. okay, so you go to E, you got negative 2u3 vw2. So this one would be 6 degree. Because you got three, one, and two, right? So you get a total of six degree. Okay. So this is the degree of each term. Now, so you don't, don't get confused between the degree of a term and degree of the polynomial. So when you go to example five, degree of a polynomial. So you got nine x to the three minus seven x plus five. So the degree of this whole thing you take the highest of the, of, of, you, you, you look at the highest one, okay? So this is three, this is one, this is zero. So the, the polynomial is third degree. So again, you take the highest one, okay? When you, talk, when you look at the entire polynomial, you figure out the degree of each term and take the one with the highest one. So this is the highest one, and so it's third degree, okay? Now let's go to B. You have 14x y to the 3 minus 11x to the 5y plus 8. So this is 4, this is 6, this is 0, so this would be 6 degree. Okay, you take the highest one. Okay, so the polynomial is 6 degree. So don't get confused between the two, okay? So this degree of it, each individual term, and this is the uh, degree of the entire polynomial. So you take the highest one only. Do not add everything together for the entire polynomial. Okay, let's go to C. You have six to the five, A to the two, B, C to the three, plus 12A, B to the six, C to the two. Okay, now remember, you do not count the numbers, right? The number does not count. So this is two, one, and three. So this is six power. This is one, six. So this is higher, right? So 1, 6, and 2 give you 9. So this is the ninth degree. Okay. Okay. 
Let's go to the next part. Let's go to how to arrange polynomials. So on page 276, example 6. So you got 5 minus 2x squared plus 4x. And they want you to arrange in a descending part of x. Descending means going down. Okay? So you want to go from highest to lowest. Again, descending means going down. So you want to go from highest and you want to go down. So you want to start with the highest degree and you want to go down. So this is second degree, first degree, and then you got zero degree. Okay? So that's what I want you to do. And you want to base on the x. Okay. Now you go to example seven. You have three x three y minus five x y plus two x squared y squared minus ten. And so part A, they want you to do a descending power of x. So you want to go down based on the x. Okay, so you start with the highest one. Okay, you go to, so this is x to the 3, so you go to x to the 2. Okay, and you go to x to the 1. So you can put underline so I know which one I did, which one I have not. Okay, minus 10. Okay, so you can you go from, again, it's based on the x, right? So x to the 3, x to the 2, x to the 1, x to the 0. Okay, so that's what I mean by do it in descending. Descending means going down. So going down based on the x. Okay, now you go to B. It says in descending part of y. So you want to go down based on y. So you look for the highest one. So this would be 2x squared, y squared. Again, now you do it based on the y. Okay? So now your next one, you got, you got y, you got y, right? So both of them has y. So which one goes first? Well, you, what you do is you... you, you, you go to the tiebreaker. You do, write the one with a higher degree first. So you do this one first. Okay? So you can both have y, so they are tied, so you go to the next tiebreaker. Okay? So you go to the x. Okay? Okay. Right. Well, you go to the degree. So this is 4 degree, this is 2 degree, so you do the high degree first. Because you're going down, right? So you go to the next one, and then you minus 10. Okay? So again, ascending, you, you will do the opposite. Ascending means you want to go up. Okay? Descending, you go down. Okay, the next term, or the, the next example, is the leading coefficient. Leading coefficient. Coefficient means the, means a number. Okay? Coefficient is a number before the variable. Leading is, means the, the highest degree term. So A, you have a 9x cubed minus 7x plus 5. So the leading coefficient would be 9. Because this is a number before the variable with the highest degree. Okay? So B, you have 14xy3 minus 11xy5. Plus eight. So first, you have to look for the highest degree term. This is a uh, this is a degree four. This is degree six. So this is the highest degree term. So this would be your leading term. So your coefficient would be negative eleven. Okay. Watch out for the negative sign. On the test, some of you are going to forget a negative. Okay. So be, be careful. Negative is part of your term. So your leading coefficient is negative eleven. Again, you look for the highest degree term and look for the number before it, right? Okay, let's go to C. So you got six to the five, a square b, c to the three, plus 12, a, b to the six, c square. So don't worry about this, right? This, this one does not come, right? So this is six degree, this is nine degree, so this is higher degree, so this is the leading term. And so your leading coefficient would be 12. Okay, and that's it. Okay. Okay, so let's go and do some practice.